All right, so this is problem 44 from chapter four. And the problem says, a loaded elevator with freight cables, with horn cables, has a total mass of 2,200 kilograms. And the cables can withstand a maximum tension of 28,000 newtons. Part A, draw a free body force diagram for the elevator. In terms of the forces on your diagram, what is the net force on the elevator? And apply Newton's second law to the elevator and find the maximum upward acceleration for the elevator if the cables are not to break. So, we know that it has, the elevator has a mass of 2200 kilograms and that the force on the cables has to be less than or equal to yeah, less than or equal to 28,000 newtons. So we have our elevator has an upward tension and it's going to have a downward weight. So the sum of the forces is going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. The forces are going to be tension minus the weight. It's the mass times the acceleration. We know that the weight is just the mass times the pull of gravity. So tension is going to equal mass times gravity. And then we want to find the maximum upward acceleration. So we're going to isolate for this, which becomes the tension divided by the mass minus gravity. It's going to be equal to our acceleration. And then so our acceleration is going to be equal to 28,000 divided by 2200 minus 9.8, the acceleration of gravity. I can probably write that a little further over. Do the math for that comes out to be an acceleration of 2.92 meters per second squared is the max acceleration for part A. Part B then asks what would be the answer to part A if the elevator were on the moon where gravity is only 1.62 meters per second squared. So it's the same thing. We're just going to be replacing this gravity with the gravity of the moon. So you would have the acceleration on the moon that it can handle would still be the tension or like the maximum force divided by the weight minus 1.62 meters per second squared. When you do the math for that, that comes out to 11.11 meters per second squared for the acceleration on the moon. So the acceleration on Earth and the acceleration on the moon.